In the year 1730, during the reign of the Emperor Yung Cheng, one of the early emperors of the Manchu Qing dynasty, many Kung Fu experts were recruited by the emperor and were taught how to use that fearsome weapon, the flying guillotine. The purpose of this was to suppress and kill the supporters of the former Ming dynasty, and many of those patriots fell to the new weapon. Those who escaped went into hiding. It was to seek these remaining rebels out and kill them that the government sent a noted master of the flying guillotine, Feng Sheng Wu Qi. Feng, who was blind, disguised himself as a Buddhist lama and lived in a mountain retreat with his two disciples, Chao Lung and Chao Fu. Master Feng Shen, if you should get this message, it will mean that both Chao Long and I will be dead. Carved on the tile is the image of a one-armed man. Teacher, he will have killed us, and he is a Ming revolutionary. We are now setting out to kill him, but because of his great ability, we fear that he may kill us. If you receive this message, then please avenge your two disciples. Chao Lung, Chao Fu, you'll be avenged. 
You sacrificed your lives for the great Qing dynasty. I swear that I will kill that one-armed man and avenge you both. Go out and practice. Sir, sir. Right. Yeah. Brother. Come here. Today I'm going to teach you something new, the technique of jumping.
Now you show us. Right. Now that is the basic step. Then follows the second step. This involves the control of breath so as to lighten your weight. All right, empty out the stones. Breathe much deeper. All right. Now then, know why that was? Not concentrating on your breathing. As you can see, you have a long way to go. Now, when you can do that, walk right around the edge. You've passed the second stage. Then we come to jumping. The most difficult. The flying technique. Come along with me. That's all that I'll show you today. Remember it. And if you've patience, you can learn to do all things. Keep practicing. Sir, right. sir, sir, sir. Sir. down. What good news? Teacher, the Eagle Claw School is holding a tournament. No restrictions for age or area. Great! Yeah. Yeah. Great. Let's enter then. Teacher, you going to enter? Teacher, I think you should. I think you'd win every prize. Teacher, it's bound to draw lots of experts. And so, our pupils here could learn something new from them. There's truth in that. He could learn a lot. Well, all right. As long as we don't attract attention from any government officials. So then, keep out of any trouble there. Understand? Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. Shields and clubs.
Are you the president of this tournament here? Yes, that's right. I'm the president, Wu Cheng Seng, and my school has helped to arrange it. <coughs> well, if you're in charge here, I have a question. Why can't I take part in it? Well, the rules are quite specific. While I accept, there's no restrictions on territory, the fact does still remain that you're a foreigner. And in that case, I must obey the rules and refuse. Right. If you can demonstrate to me you have some degree of skill, well then, there should be no more problem. Not good enough. Father, don't worry. I can take care of myself. Save your skill. You'll need it all tomorrow. I suggest you rest now. Attendant? Sir! Come here. Sir. Take our guest to his room. Please. <laughs> Japanese tournament contestant win without a knife. Why Akuma? Your room's on the first floor. Porter, yes, show sir. him. When the government received news of the tournament, they were afraid that the rebel Ming supporters might choose the opportunity to stage an uprising. So they ordered Fung Sen to investigate and to kill any rebels he discovered there. Fung, in turn, enlisted the aid of some of the foreign contestants. It was clear the tournament was destined to be a bloody affair. Ah,回来了,回来了 
<laughs> hey, waiter, over there. Oh, oh hey. sir. Inside there. Just step in, sir. Come this way. <laughs> hey. Please, this way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> No, 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 Please, this way, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you like some food? Vegetarian noodles. A bowl of vegetarian noodles! Okay. Yeah. this? You leaving? Without paying your bill? Huh? And what if I haven't paid? Do you know who I am, huh? <laughs> who are you? God damn it! You don't know who I am? You never heard of me? Huh? You listen. I happen to be the one-armed boxer. See that? I killed seven. <laughs> I guess that should be enough proof of you. Yeah, I killed seven with one blow. Did you ever hear anyone doing that? No. All right, where's the seven men you killed then? Well, they weren't actually men, they were flies. <laughs> <laughs> Was he the one-armed boxer? He wasn't the one-armed boxer. He was just a bomb. I don't care who he was. I intend to kill every one-armed man that I come across here. Dad, they say the one-armed boxer will come here. He had an invitation up to now. I've had no reply, but still, that's not conclusive. I think that he probably will come, even if it's just to watch. He's very well known. Everybody has heard of him, so it would be good if he did come, just to show himself here. Teacher Wu, everything is prepared for the tournament now. Good. Pass the word round. Tell them we shall start tomorrow. Look 
contest begins. The contest begins. The contest begins. The contestants are on my left, Long Spear, Chang Chi Yu. And on my right, Fighting Stick, Hop Away. The first drum. The second drum. jumping. about that. So he has a knife after all, does he? Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> 
And so did Ting Chang. Take the two winners away! Now on my left, the Northern Daredevil, Lee San. And on my right, in your soup. Pound the drum! His spirit protected him, but he lost his sight, and that's why his defense is broken. Northern Daredevil, Lee Sun wins! Now on my left, 
a Javanese so long. Sword formation. Right. Extra swords. Now from my right, flying rope, chao. my master. Brother, you entering? No. I said I wouldn't come here to fight. I'm going to the school. You come back when it's over. Sure.
my left now. Tiger and shark first Lee come in. On my right, Tiger Man. Sound the drum. And from my left, the one arm snake fist and sing. On my right, the praying mantis, Tonga. Down the drum. Thank you.
Are you one of the Ching killers? That's right. Flying guillotine, Feng Xing Wu Qi. Good. And so eventually, I've got to see the notorious flying guillotine. You've killed senselessly here. Did your masters tell you to do this? Huh. Yes, they did. Now listen. The one-armed boxer killed my disciples. And I've come here to seek revenge for both of them. Hmm. You vicious bastard. You've killed innocent men at this tournament for no reason at all. Well, you'll regret it. I intend to make sure that you won't do it again. Wait! Yes, you get out of my way now, you old has-been. <laughs> Listen, I want that one on Boxer. And nobody is gonna stop me. I'm sorry. Although we're a new school, we're going to have to close. Or just temporarily. But why, 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 why should we do that? What's wrong with that? Why should we close? Teacher, why should we close? Can't you guess? You were at that tournament. You saw that senseless killing. Yes, yeah, we saw it. Yeah. The man who did all the killing, the man with the guillotine, he was sent here by the Qings to murder all the Kung Fu experts there. What? 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 Pay attention. I suspect that he may very well soon pay a visit to our school. In that case, a great many of you could be killed. And I wouldn't want that to happen. Teacher, he's got to be stopped. There has to be a way. Let me tell you something about that man. Up till recently, he had two assistants, both tough men. Like him, they were both ruthless killers. Now, a few months ago, the two of them tried to kill me. However, it didn't quite work out.
Ever since I killed those two disciples, I've expected this. Although I never expected that he'd show up at the tournament. When he killed that one-armed Sin Sing after the fight, I think that he thought he was me. However, he was wrong. Brother, we all want to learn Kung Fu. So we don't want to hide all our lives. That would be wasting our time. Besides, you're the one, our boxer. Who said we should hide? The man who runs away, or who hides, is weak and a fool. On the other hand, to be overcautious is wrong too. I've heard of you many times, but you didn't enter the tournament, and so I've had to come here. You left it too late. I've just closed the school down. That's so? Trying to escape? The blind man won't let you go. He's on his way here now. Huh? <laughs> I've got someone to lead him out here. In fact, he should be here any minute. You bastard. I'll fix you. <laughs> Out of here. Quick! That's the one. The one who was talking. Does he think he can escape? I'm Wim without a knife, Waiyakuma. The roof fell. I saved your life. So you saved me? But my father? Dead. <gasps> Those who are dead can never return. So there's no point in crying. Think of something else. I already have, and I can think of nothing else. All that I want to do now is to take revenge from that blind man. Well, don't bother. You aren't good enough. Better come with me. 
We'll go to Japan. Go with you? Why should I? You fight quite well. I could teach you my Kung Fu. You could be my first female student. You have a lot of potential. Get some rest. I'm going to get some food. It's me, the teacher, U.T. Lun. Oh, the one I'm... Shh! Hey, just outside Clearwater Town, there's a cave. If you go through the cave, there's a house in the clearing. Go and hide there. After I get my students away from this place, I'll meet you there. Right. Pay your respects to St. Quan. The enemy will be here soon. You go now, and I'll leave as soon as you've gone. As soon as I've thought of a plan, I shall get in touch. Now you'd better leave by the back gate. Sir! Sir! sir. sir. I guess you've come here to fight. I'm sorry, it's not convenient. <laughs> no one-armed swordsman. It's just a one-winged chicken. Tell me, when would be convenient for you, huh? I've heard an old Chinese expression. To kill a coward is easier than trying to find a way to insult him. Sorry that you did that.
I smell blood. The Indian. He's dead. He can't escape. He's somewhere around this area. I know it. Miss Wu, my brother. Brother, are you hurt bad? Nothing serious. I'll be all right. But that Indian gave me quite a bit of trouble. I nearly got caught. Miss Wu, are you all right now? Yes, thanks. I'm much better now. That's good. You stay here as long as you want. See you. The students get away all right? Sure. I saw them off. They should be clear by now. Hmm. Good. Come inside. And we'll have a talk. Teacher, what are you thinking? Just thinking how tough a piece of bamboo is. Even a sharp axe can't cut it. What made you think of that? It's like this. Those knife blades inside the flying guillotine, they're no thicker than an axe. And now I realize just how I can defeat it. Really? Sure. So now let's get my students together to discuss my plan. Mm. Hey, blacksmith, have you got my order finished yet? Yes, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Good day. Did you want a large coffin or just a small one? I don't want either. I want to hire this place. Hire a coffin shop?
I think I've got the answer. That's why I've called you here. But still, whether my plan can stop the guillotine remains to be seen. The strength of the guillotine lies in its impetus. Once that spinning force develops, it becomes almost impossible to stop it. Now then, the first part of the plan is to get rid of that foreign killer nine men. Then we can tackle the guillotine. And that's where I expect you men to come in. Shen Yun, somehow you've got to get him to come along to this place. Right. Hey, he's coming now. Come on. Go down to the inn and you'll find a blind man. Bring him out to the cave. Uh, Quickly. Hope you got thick skin on your feet. Oh, my God. 
Still, my feet couldn't have stood much more. Take the body away. Right. right. I don't want any of you killed. So get on the other side of the hills and just wait there. Go! Right, right. Go. Teacher, I won't go. I'm staying here. I just have to. But why? Because I want to watch you avenge my father's death. Sorry. With you here, I can't concentrate. Then we'd probably both be killed. So go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's the best. I guessed that you might come, but I'm afraid you've chosen an inconvenient time to arrive. I saved her life. If she comes with me, then I'll leave right away. But otherwise, before the blind man comes, I'll have killed you. You can't. You did save me, and I owe you my life. But still, I'm not coming. That's that. Miss Wu, it's no use trying to reason with him. Get back. I've been waiting.
Ah! <laughs> 